Is there any chance that her father is still alive? <laughs> drink water. Hi. Just, that, <laughs> just drink water. No, nothing. Gosh, Marty. The answer the is. Water tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Drink there, that water. If, uh, avoid we, I that said question. it once before, and I'll say it again. If it's not impossible, we'll probably do it. <laughs> but um, no, there. Uh, at, I. I love that character, and we just we leave ourselves open to all kinds of story. But um, you won't. How, I, I can I can disappoint and and titillate you all with you will not find out this season. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Emily's mother? Have we ever gotten a clear answer on when Emily's mother is? She came up this week, didn't she? Ooh. Um, and uh, and um, <laughs> if it's not impossible, it's on revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so no, we'll find out. We'll find out more about certainly more about where uh, where. Um, her mother, what happened to her mother, um, and and it's really exciting. It's all things that are leading us towards a, a lot more story if we if we're able to get into season two. We've got a lot to wrap up right now, and um, and and I think uh, I think it would be great to see what happened to her mother. Intriguing. Okay. okay, I'm intrigued. <laughs> all right, so um, Josh, let's talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not water. It's great water. This is just. That's cool. really good stuff in the water. So is this a good news, bad news scenario? The good news is you're not dead. The bad news, you have to stand trial. Well, I, I, for Daniel, I guess he's he's hopefully going to become a bit more aware. I think that beating knocked some sense into him. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, hopefully going to become a bit more sort of on on the level of revenge that everyone else is on, <laughs> that I seem to be missing. So, um, no, I, I, it's, he's going to come to a crossroads between making a decision between good and evil, I guess, which you'll, you'll see coming up. Mm -mm. At a certain point, uh, Daniel's character is going to, to catch on to what's going on around him, um, at, at least. The apple the, doesn't fall to too far that, from the tree, basically. Right, that, yeah. he's, that he's been pulled and pushed and manipulated by both his mother and his... Uh, Lovely fiance um, <laughs> might not know the specifics, but it does start amping up his participation in what's happening. So will he start to take a more active role in seeking revenge? I hope so. <laughs> Care to give specific examples? <laughs> Killing someone. Hang on, let's just. <laughs> Beating someone up. In Whose the idea tower? were these water bottles? I know. I know. They're a great obstacle. It actually says Haley Center. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I, um, <laughs> I, I actually don't know yet. We'll see. We we try to. We, try we will to see. Stuff, uh, <laughs> Jesus, this microphone. <laughs> Put it a bit higher. How much does he really remember of the night on the beach, and how much is he pretending not to remember? Um, no, he remembers quite a bit. He, he's gonna. He's definitely catching on to something, and, and he's got a scent of something. So he's gonna follow that until proven otherwise, you know, which he probably will be, and then he'll be on an old, whole new track. Well, I think the fun with him also is that he's no angel. I mean, he does. In, I think we've all seen episode 16 at this point, I, I, I hope. And, um, and at that point, he knows he did, he, he shot the guy, mm -hmm. um, right? So it wasn't somebody, he didn't have to. He could have done something different with that moment, but he did shoot him. So, uh, so he is a, a Grayson. Um, <laughs> <laughs> part of it is. Yeah, he um, thought it was a cap gun. <laughs> but there's mitigating circumstances, and he was doing things for the right reasons. I think what I love about the Graysons, all of you, is that the things, these horrible, wicked, mischievous things that they do is all somehow it twists back to some sort of, um, some sort of love of family or, or I, I don't know, you answer this so well every time. This, there's, a, there's a, it's grounded somehow in, in, uh, in wanting, uh, I, I guess wanting to protect. There's actually in this, in this particular episode um, that you only saw, I think, to the end of, sec of the second act, is in, that right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Do I get to? You get to. Okay, I do. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, let's say, just say somebody sent those guys to beat up Daniel. <laughs> Who could that possibly be? <laughs> now, this is going, actually, Josh and I were having a very interesting conversation. Am I allowed to say you that? Do it. Really? <laughs> Look at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm not Victoria, Victoria will go to the ends of the earth for her son. In her mind, the best way to get her son out of jail is to have the daylights beat. 
and Josh and I were actually talking about this. And <laughs> I think it's going to shock a lot of people who watch the, the show. But in reality, would you do that for your son if you know that he could receive much worse in prison yeah. under his circumstances? Literally. And I actually think it's utterly justified. <laughs> but in <laughs> the case, she thinks it's, just it's going to cause a big problem between us. You know? And that's just great drama. It was a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I would have the living daylight speed at all. <laughs> I do. Not that far, but yeah.